G'day, I'm Senior Constable Luke Watkins from Wyndham District Water Police and we're here at uh, Brisbane Water Police today. I'm here to talk to you about uh, jet skis and personal watercraft and some of the uh, legislations and requirements in relation to them. Uh, to start with, with your jet ski you need to be licensed, you need a specific licence, so you need your boat licence as well as a personal watercraft licence and the uh, jet ski obviously needs to be registered as well. Um, whenever you're on the jet ski you have to wear your lanyard, so whoever the licence operator of the ski is, they have to wear their lanyard, it has to be attached to themselves by the hand or the, their jacket. You need to be wearing a life jacket and it depends on a, uh, the operation, the area of operation as to what jacket you're wearing. If you're operating in smooth waters, you need a PFD 2 or 3 or a wetsuit that is uh, rated to a PF uh, 3. If you go into partially smooth waters or open waters, you're going to need a PFD 2. Um, also, there's new requirements in relation to flares and EPIRB that uh, if you're operating in partially smooth waters, more than half a nautical mile from land or in uh, open waters you need flares and a on board and a v-sheet and you're also required if you go more than two nautical miles offshore to have a EPIRB on board. Um, there's also a lot of uh, rules and regulations with distances but the main ones you probably need to remember is if you're doing more than six knots you need to be 60 metres of uh, swimmers in the water or anchored vessels uh, and if you're travelling more than 10 knots you have to be 30 metres of any other vessel. Uh, for more information on uh, distances you can go to the MSQ website and it'll have all the distances and regulations there. Uh, if you're operating the, uh, the PwC after sunset and before sunrise and also in reduced visibility, the same rules in relation to navigation lights applies to the jet ski where you're required to have your steaming lights, a, a red and a green, and an all-around white light that can be seen for 360 degrees. There's also a requirement that to, uh, you comply with the manufacturer's specifications in relation to capacity on the ski. If obviously only a two-seater, you can only have two people on it. three-seater, you can have three people on it. Um, you should have a capacity label on the ski as well. It'll also inform you of how many people you can have on the ski, as well as a Ride Smart sticker that also gives you uh, your rules and regulations in, uh, in relation to uh, distance and, uh, and other important information. And this has been your safety tip brought to you by the uh, Brisbane Water Police.